Hey, what's going on guys? Thought I would make a video as I sit here in my kitchen. I guess it's about 9 o'clock at night. I really don't even know what time it is. I'm guessing. It feels like 9. And drinking some coffee. And I have just been doing a lot of thinking lately. And I've been watching some YouTube videos. And I see... There's a lot of buzz on the internet about this latest DHS, Department of Homeland Security, uh, catastrophic grid down study that they put out. It's not a report, it, it's a study. Um, well, maybe report and study could be considered the same thing, but apparently... From what I understand, some news organization has got a hold of it, or some newspaper, and they've been telling people they need six months supply of food and water or whatnot for a possible grid down uh, scenario. So I'm like, okay, cool. I want to read the study. So I found the study, and I haven't read it fully, but I've went over it, and I've not seen anything in that report that's telling people to get six months of preps, basically. I did see one spot that said between 30 and 45 days, and I actually went to page 63, I believe, like Appendix F, I think that's what it was. And it said, in the title of this section was uh, for individuals, you know, what to prepare for, blah, 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 blah. And it said nothing about any amount of stores of food and water or whatnot. And I think a lot of people are taking this and they've turned it into doomer porn. And what I'm going to start calling the internet ding-dongs are blowing that study way out of proportion. They're sensationalizing it, stuff like that. Now, granted, I'm all for preparedness. As you see, I have some stuff I picked up today. And, uh, you know, about 20 bucks worth. You should be preparing anyway, not for some catastrophic event like a grid down scenario, but for just everyday things, unexpected job loss, injury, severe illness, um, stuff like that. If you prepare for those things, then you should basically be covered for anything else. You should just prepare. You should put your preps in your budget as the first thing in your budget right underneath saving or investing you know pay yourself first get your prep second then carry on with the bills and all the other life expenses you know because I know firsthand through personal injury natural disasters illness you know for sick family members how important it is to have preps. I don't know how many times I've relied on my preps in the last two or three years uh, that they've really, you know, saved my bacon, I guess you could say. So back to the down the grid down scenario in this study, it also caused me to think. Um, just to think about how far we've progressed in the last hundred years. So it's 2018 now. Imagine it was 1918. How life was different. Just think about 1918. Okay, hundred years from now. How different life was. Um, I think I read right that only four or five percent of houses in the United States had electricity and it wasn't until 1925 
that barely half of the houses in the United States had power. We had the Model T Ford. We Airplanes were still extremely new, and they were a rarity in 1918. Uh, World War I had come to an end. You know, granted, there were airplanes during the war, but as far as the, the public, you know, they were still, they were a rarity. Um, only communications we had were telegraphs, like, d d d d d d d d d d d <laughs> you know? Um, a lot of people are still alive today that are close to 100 years old or older that grew up without plumbing, running water, toilets, electricity. They didn't have cars. They had no form of communication. Um, everybody still rode horses, grew their own foods. Think if the grid did go down for some reason, how much life your how much your life would change you know if you really just let that sink in it's amazing how different things were honestly less than 100 years ago how would people today especially the kids growing up today that have no clue they're totally clueless you know, when they walk around, they're four foot deep in their cell phone screens. We've all become so used to the luxuries that we have now. <laughs> so, just think about how life would be different if the grid did go down. For, you know, say a hacker broke in and did some damage uh, or anything. Lightning strikes the right place and all of a sudden... You know, all hell broke loose. Like, how would people react? You know, just think how much your life would change, or in some people's case, how your life would end. You know, a lot of people in the hospitals rely on generators. When the power goes down, what happens when the power don't come up for six days, seven days, 14 days? And those generators stop. Think of the people in the hospitals that might not survive. You know? It's kind of a reality check. How, just within a hundred years, there are people, just, you know, it's hard for me to wrap my head around it, that there are people that are a hundred years old that experienced, like, the Great Depression. And earlier that that didn't have any of these luxuries that we have today. And everything we have today is basically a luxury. In less than a hundred years, we went from the Model T Ford to the 2018 Ford Mustang with GP navigation, heated, powered, air-conditioned seats, power steering, Yada yada, satellite radio, all wheel disc brakes, airbags, you know, just technology galore in less than a hundred years. And I'm just using that as comparison forward and forward. You know, that's just crazy. So, everybody should prep, you know. Nothing crazy, no doomsday National Geographic type stuff. That doomsday preppers, I think that's the dumbest damn show. Makes everybody that's even remotely into preparedness look like complete idiots and retards. But everybody should have stores of food. I think everybody that is into preparedness should practice living without modern conveniences. If the power went down... How are you going to have lights? How are you going to prepare food? How are you going to store food? How are you going to make a living without electricity? How are you going to put food on your table? And don't say, oh, I'm just going to go deer hunting. No, you're not. Because every Tom, Dick, and Harry is going to be doing the same damn thing. Deers were almost extinct at one point. 
if I remember correctly. Because everybody was doing the same thing. How are you going to do the basics in order to survive? That is a rabbit hole that I'm down right now. <laughs> it's like, I just think about stuff and I'm like, man, how much different life would be. Okay, that's it. I'm going to drink my coffee here at nighttime and chill. It's pretty much all I do when it's rainy and crappy outside. So anyways, leave your comments below. I'd like to see what you guys think, you know. Like and subscribe and talk to you later.